Hello again. So today we are going to discuss the assessment problem 7.3 in our book. So in this question we have a normally closed switch which opens at t equal to 0 and we have to find the value of the i1 of t for time is greater, time greater than 0. Okay, so now again we have the, uh, in these type of questions, these are type of stringent uh, questions, we have two steps. First of all, we have to find out the expression for time less than zero. Time less than zero means the time when switch is in its normal condition. So when time is less than zero, what will be the uh, circuit like here? So let me write here. So the circuit here will be here, the switch will be in its close condition and this will be the resistor here okay and similarly here another resistor and here we can see that we have an inductor here and in uh, steady state condition the inductor will behave as a short circuit so re replacing the inductor with the short circuit here what will we get we get a circuit like this one in which we have a single voltage source the resistor of 6 ohm and another resistor of 12 ohm here okay so now we have this circuit in which the two uh, resistors are in parallel with this voltage source here and now we have to find out the value of i1 of t okay so now we have as two these uh, two currents here i1 of t and i2 of t the two currents here are uh, very easy to find out because the voltage across these two are already known. So the voltages across all of uh, both of these resistors are 12 volts. Okay, so now in order to find out the value of I1 of T, we know the value of the voltage across it and the resistor is also given here. So the current here will be 1 amps. Okay, so that is the current which is 1 amps. And uh, this is also the current which we can call I1 of 0. Okay, so that is the current which appears uh, when the switch changes its position. Okay, so that is the current. Okay, after it, let me go towards another step and in this step, we have t greater than 0. Okay, so in this uh, scenario, what happens? That is the uh, instance when this switch changes its condition. So when it changes its condition, what will happen? This circuit will be, this portion of a circuit will be separated out. So when this portion will be separated out, what will be the remaining circuit? this circuit here will be the remaining circuit okay so that is the remaining circuit because the other side here is now open circuited and no current is flowing towards the other end because the switch is now open so now we are here we have this 12 ohm the 6 ohm the current here is i2 of t and here this is 2 henry uh, inductor and the current here is i1 of t okay so now these three components are in series with each other so when these three are in series let me apply kvl here so according to the kvl the vl plus v6 plus v2 is equal to zero okay as three as these three are basically the passive elements so adding them together will give me the uh, 0 okay so now putting their values here we know that the value of VL is L di of t by dt similarly V6 is as the uh, circuit is in series as we can see that all the three components are connected in series with each other so the current in all of these three will be similar so here 6 multiplied by i of t or here this is sorry this is v12 so v12 here again 12 into i of t and it will be equal to zero okay so now rearranging uh, the circuit or the quantities here and similarly putting the value of l here what i will get i will get here di of t divided by dt plus adding them together i will get 18 i of t 
and that is equal to 0 and that i of t is basically let me call it i1 of t this is the same current which is passing through uh, this inductor and that is let me call it i1 of t okay so now dividing both sides by 2 what i will get another very easy step here so dividing this term at both sides dt plus this is 9 i1 of t equal to 0. So, now this is my uh, first order homogeneous equation and let me call it A. Okay. So, in order to find the solution of this equation, we will just have the complementary solution of uh, this uh, equation because there is no forcing function available here. It will be equal to the um, IC and that is k exponential of minus t over tau okay so now what is tau tau is basically the time constant here and in all circuits we know the time constant is basically l by r so this l by r here is quite easy to find here because now the value here this 9 is r by l or we can call it 1 over tau so this is now 1 over uh, tau so the value here the value of tau will be here equal to the 1 over 9 okay putting the values here what i will get i1 of t will be equal to the k exponential of minus t so that is the value of i1 of t but we don't know the value of this constant which is k so in order to find the value of k let me put t equal to 0 and i will put t equal to 0 it will become i1 of 0 equal to k exponential of minus 0 so it will be i1 of 0 will be equal to k okay or it will ultimately give me the value which i have found out earlier on and that is this one so the value of k is one so that is the value of k now putting it here in this equation what i will get i1 of t will be equal to the 1 exponential of minus 90 so and that is for what that is for t greater than 0 so that is the equation which we had to find out in this uh, question uh, where we are given a circuit and in this circuit we have to find the value or the expression for the i1 of t for time greater than 0 and that is the expression we can also draw it or a graph here where this is t and this is i1 of t so drawing it here this will be our initial value here and that is one because this is one here and that is the initial condition we have found out so it will decay like this one and the time constant here will be one or nine and that is the l by r okay so that is uh, the uh, question of a transient circuit uh, which we have solved so i hope all of the steps will be understandable uh, and you can grasp the concept very easily from these steps thank you so much and i will see you soon